stay in different ways. All of these sections are 20 microns in thickness. Do you know uh, about uh, Dr. Thomas Harvey? Do you know yeah. where is uh, Dr. Thomas Harvey? Where lives uh, mm -hmm. Dr. Thomas Harvey in America? Uh, I wish to meet Dr. Thomas Harvey. I wish to uh, visit Dr. Thomas Harvey. Uh -huh. uh, yeah. How to get uh, information mm -hmm. uh, about uh, Dr. Thomas Harvey? Please uh, tell me the information of the Thomas Harvey's. I, cannot, I can't tell you unless you uh, mm -hmm. write and give me a series of questions. I'll try to answer them for you. Uh. See? That's the, the only way. <laughs> Off, offhand, I can't no, tell you was, any more than I can give no, you he, any of Professor, these slides. His, his question was, what happened to Thomas Harvey? To Where Tom can, Harvey well, died uh, to... Died. Yeah, he's dead. Died. Tom Harvey dead. Oh. He dead. If you want more details, I can tell you. He got into difficulty with his wife. So he left his wife and they got divorced. And he left two children that she took care of. And he moved to the Middle West. Oh. And then apparently he had some problems. So one year he was in one city uh -huh. in the Middle West, and the next year someplace else. Mm. And then he passed away. Well, the, the last thing the professor would like to know is, if, is there anyone else who has the brain? Nobody has it. There was no brain left. We cut it all up. Any pieces of brain that anyone has anywhere? The Down other the pieces were cut. No, any other uh, doctors, uh, professors, who likes the lady that you mentioned before? Oh, Was she it? didn't see anything for 20 years until 15 years after uh, uh, Dr. Uh, Einstein died. And she, she was shown one microscopic slide. As far as I know, maybe she saw two, I don't know. Do but you know hematoxylin. Do you know who this person is and where she lives? How did one feel in looking at Einstein's brain for the first time? One could say it was a total emotional experience. In fact, a total body experience. One of thrill, exhilaration, and yet one of apprehension of what we were really doing, stepping into the unknown of one of the most brilliant minds that's ever existed. Uh, excuse me, please uh, show me uh, brain, uh, Einstein brain. You'd like to see Einstein's brain? Yeah, well, yeah. Uh. <laughs> I'm very interested in the yes. uh, Einstein brain during yes. I stay in Japan and from the young period. Uh, this is my dream. I see. Yeah. The sections are from areas which we call association cortex. And this means that these areas are more highly uh, advanced oh. or highly evolved than other parts of the brain. So if one's going to look for differences of a genius's brain in with the average person, one would look in these regions. Oh. And one area is the frontal area, which, as the name implies, is right behind my forehead. Frontal forehead. Here I have a whole brain to show you where we took our slices. Thumbs on Whoa, oh my God. Whoa. What do you think? What does he say? Is it, is it real? It's real. This is a real human brain. From uh, what age? From I mean, what age? This is middle age. 
middle age. On Einstein's brain, we took sections from here and from here and from back here. Mm. And we took those because those are the most highly evolved parts of the brain. We took sections from these chunks of tissue. And so we found that he has more glial cells per neuron than the average man. He likes to see uh, other ones if it's okay. I got Einstein's brain from a man named Harvey. I told him what I was doing, and he said, fine. I thought that was easy. Make a long story short, three years later, in a little mayonnaise jar, not so big, I had my four sections of Einstein's brain. Harvey, Dr. Thomas Harvey. Thomas Harvey. Can you tell me, Is that Dr. Thomas Harvey? That's correct. Mm -hmm. Oh. Uh, what, uh, what happened to... Dr. Thomas Harvey. I don't know. I have not kept up with him over the years. The last time I had communication with him, he was in Weston, Missouri. Oh. The Missouri should. Hmm. Dr. Diamond's uh, information is uh, very good. But uh, Dr. Thomas Harvey's address is P.O. Box 482, Wiston, Misery. P.O. Box. Oh, difficult. Serious. Uh, do you know where Dr. Harvey is? Uh, I can take you where he uh, practiced, uh -huh. up on Main Street, if you'd like. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Okay. Okay. I, I came from Japan. Japan? Yeah. I'm looking for Dr. Harvey. Dr. Harvey. Yeah. Well, Thank I can you. take you up there. Oh. When I first got here, they had a, a few burglaries a couple of years before in that area, so we kept a pretty good eye on it at night. But, uh, but I met him uh, a few times, and he was a real nice gentleman. The... Uh, brain itself. I always thought that was intriguing. I just often wondered how he got that. If I remember he serves me correct, he got it when he was uh, doing pathology or something somewhere. And I always thought that was kind of interesting how he could get it myself, you know. Because I've been to a few autopsies and not too many uh, people walk out with the brains, you know, no matter who they are. This is the office where he did his practice up until he left. Why? Why he left? I don't know. I think, uh, if I understood, he went teaching somewhere, if I remember right. A university or something, he went to go teach. And I'm not sure which one. It was down south, I thought. Doctor, I, I think Dr. Habe is a center of important person in the history of the Einstein brain. Oh, yeah? <laughs> I'm very interested in the Dr. Harvey. Oh, okay. My, my father is, a, my father was a police. Mm. Okay, I, I know uh, uh, the organizations of uh, police uh, organization. Uh -huh. Good. Okay. <laughs> well, they, we do have a good organization, and, oh. and if we have to find somebody, we do oh, find them. But... Oh. Uh, where Dr. Harvey's at, I, I really don't know now. It, it's been several years, uh -huh. and I haven't heard anything since he left about him. I hope that you help me uh, on my project. Well, we'll, <laughs> we'll try to do the best we can. <laughs>